Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our cPanel tutorial series. In this video we're going to show you how to modify your MX records through the cPanel. Now your MX records are a type of DNS record, but they're not listed in the advanced DNS zone editor. They're actually separated into the mail category. So if you go to mail and then MX entry, give that a click. This will open up the tool that contains all your MX records. Now, it lists the domain name here that you're working with. This is the main domain for your account. And then down here we have the email routing, which is set for automatically detect configuration by default. It's a good idea to leave this here uh, because depending on the number of records and how the IPs are set up, it'll be able to know whether it's local, backup, or remote. All right, and now underneath that we have the add a record tool, which is very simple, but it's right there. And then underneath that has the current list of MX records. Now starting off, you're gonna have one. Okay, and this has a priority of zero, and then a destination of your domain name, which in this case is customercommunityimh.com. Now these work off IPs, so it works in conjunction with your advanced DNS zone editor. Um, right now, let's take a look at this one. Priority zero, they work off the of priorities being first is the lowest number. So zero is first in line, and then if you had a one or a five or a 10 or whatever, that's the next number, that would be the next in line. Um, let's go over to the advanced DNS zone editor really quick. All right, now remember I had it set to run for customercommunityimh.com by default. So if we look at that record, you can see it's pointing to this IP address, which happens to be my test server. Now I have a, a record down here that you can create if you don't have one, uh, mail.customercommunityimh.com. Now this one points to the same place because it points to customercommunityimh.com, just like the MX record does, and then that points to the IP address of the server. If I want to have a specific mail record, what I would do is change this or create one if you don't have it, like I said, and make that an A record and point it to the IP address of the server you want to point to. Say you have a Gmail server or you have you know, some other kind of third party mail server and you just put that IP address in there. Okay, and then you edit that. All right. Now this 8.8.8.8, it's a Google server. I'm just not sure if it's a mail server, but I'm using it just for test purposes. So you can see now that this, is, this IP is completely different from any other IP. Most of the other IPs point you know, directly to the server, but this one points out away from the server. So what I want to do now that I have this mail.customercommunityimh.com is go back to my MX records under mail. Okay. And I can change the one that exists. This priority zero has a destination of the domain name. Let's go ahead and edit that and make that say mail.customercommunityimh.com. All right, so now when mail comes in, it's going to look at the MX record and see that it needs to go to another server. All right, and that's how you edit an MX record. Now, some people have a list of MX records and they're listed for a reason. There's more than one and they're set to work in a priority. Uh, priority mode there. So let's add a second one. Okay, now this one's going to point to our server. Alright, so you see the first one's priority zero. It's going to try to go to that other mail server that we pointed it to. If it doesn't work, then it's going to go to the next one in line, which is 10, and that points to this server. Now, if you work with a third-party server such as this Google Mail, Gmail, they may give you a list of four or even five different email servers. That's fine. It's going to try to start at the first one, and priority zero is the first one. It's going to check. That's the main one. If that one doesn't work, then it checks the second one. If that one doesn't work, it checks the third one, and so on. So Google kind of has it set up to where you have basically have five chances to not get your email delivered before it doesn't work or it goes to another server that you've put in place. Okay. By default, our servers run on one. And then you have to make your second one uh, as well. In this case, I made the first server point elsewhere. And then after that, I have this uh, kind of like backup server port in here. All right, so that's how you edit and create new MX records within the cPanel. Thanks for joining us for our cPanel tutorial series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below so we can bring you future videos. Thanks to see you next time. 
Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.